380 powerhouse. Let's get a couple more out. I think I have eight more here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's not a bad little shooter. Hickok 45 here with a, uh, a Bursa Thunder CC, the concealed carry model. I wish I'd kept track of how many people have asked me to get a burst of thunder the last couple of years and uh, I finally did and I especially when I, I got a message from a fellow who uh, was really uh, detailing the benefits he thought of the concealed carry model I thought, well that sounds more interesting than just the standard uh, burst of thunder because you know me I like the smaller guns if they're uh, quality pieces and it makes sense and so it's been on my radar and I happened to see one in a shop recently up here in Clarksville, and I just picked it up. Uh, I, I was really not familiar, to tell you the truth, with the concealed carry model, and I thought that sounded much more interesting to me, a uh, smaller one. Basically, it's a uh, clone, uh, semi-clone, of the PPK, and which, of course, is a classic uh, semi-automatic pistol. Yeah, that can't be all bad. And... The main reason that I am interested in it is I don't know that I've ever seen a negative comment, I'm sure they're out there, on the Burst of Thunder. You know, there are a lot of guns that are on that lower end, like this gun is going to run anywhere from 250 to three and a quarter, depending on where you find it, whether you pay retail and all that. Uh, so it's, it's on the low end in terms of uh, expense, but uh, from everything you read and everybody you talk to, they're really good guns for the money. They're made in Argentina, you know, where I used to live. But uh, they, they, you just don't see anything negative. At least I don't. I'm sure it's out there. And so that's always a, a good sign. Whereas even a gun that, uh, uh, that, that we know is quality, you're going to see some negative things about it. And I'm sure there are negative things about these. But there's really a lot of buzz about them. A lot of people are buying them. Uh, a lot of them are in 380, of course. And, you know, we can argue about the cartridge. But, uh, you know, it's not a quite a 9 and it's not a 40 and 45 of course we know 380 uh, we know all the warts of the 380 you know some people don't like the 380 think it's not powerful enough and everything but with modern ammo uh, the modern bullets most people uh, have a, a better taste in their mouths about the 380 they don't quite uh, uh, you know just disregard it like uh, they used to so with modern bullets it can be very effective and uh, again, the, the concealed carry model, uh, pretty interesting, you know, a little PPK essentially. It breaks down just like one. Before I get it too dirty, let me show you. If you have a PPK and you're familiar with it, let's see, you gotta hold your nose right, you gotta just pull it back, push that down with your finger, and it comes off, you slide. And it's uh, unique in that, uh, just like the PPK, you know, the, the barrel is, is Part of the frame essentially it's it's uh, built into it you know pull the barrel out this is one of the few guns i'm aware of like that and uh, i guess the modern the regular size burst of thunder is the same way i don't know i've not really had one or messed with it but that takes me back uh it reminds me uh of the ppk that uh oh yeah that's right I forgot i had one right there yeah very similar that gun right there breaks down uh in a very similar fashion the classic uh, walther that uh, James Bond carried and all that. So, but anyway, that one's a Walther. This is a Bursa Thunder. So let's put him back together. And so you just kind of reverse it, make sure your lever's down there and trying to get pinched too badly. There we go. All right. So we got, yeah, lock that back. And I think we, now I had a little trouble earlier with it, but uh, I didn't get it down far enough. There we go. There we go, good. It's brand new and uh, not broken in at all, but it seems to be fairly, fairly smooth considering. Uh, it does have a magazine disconnect. That's one of the characteristics of it. You know, you cannot pull a, a trigger without the, having a magazine in it. it. It wasn't all the way in it, so, okay. There we go. So you got the magazine disconnect. I know that's a negative uh, for some people. And it has, uh, well, it doesn't have a lot of ambi parts, does it? You got your uh, your safety here, your thumb safety and decocker, so you can you know 
have it on fire and you can decock it you know, with with that. Double action to single action pull. You know, you just, well, I've got to have the mag in. But the first pull, double action. If the safety's off, that is. There we go, and then it goes to single action. That's what I was doing out here. My first shot was uh, double action. It uh, has a loaded chamber indicator there. You'll see when I load it up. As uh, polymer grips are very thin, very thin, and it's a very light gun. It uh, unloaded, it weighs just a little bit over a pound, whereas the actual uh, original PPK in all steel is like four or five ounces heavier. You can really tell the difference you know, when you pick it up. But uh, this is the CC model, and you saw that's the breakdown lever there that I was working with. So, double action. Uh, you could, I guess you could carry it two different ways, you know, where it's double action. In fact, when I pulled it out of my holster back there, I had the safety, I didn't have the safety on. Uh, because it's a double action pull. Now, I don't know, if I carried a gun like this, you know, I'd probably generally carry it with the safety on all the way. And then, you've got a really safe gun, that's the problem. You've got to be careful it's not too safe, you know, you need to pull it out and, and, and especially on a little gun like this, it's not like a 1911. It's a little more awkward for me to, to uh, disengage that safety. But uh, depends on how you get it. I'd work out a system probably, and, you know, work it out. But uh, a really nice little gun. So let's load it up here. We should be loading magazines instead of just gabbing, right? Now, like I say, I, I had a message from a guy in uh, Wisconsin uh, just last week wrote me a long letter and it actually made made sense. <laughs> I get some long messages sometimes that are a little rambling and I almost can't finish them because you know I get hundreds a day and uh, I've got to, I've got to, you got to get to the point you know make it as clear as you can or I just sort of have to skim it and answer as best I can and move on. But, uh, but he wrote me a, a fairly long message uh, bragging about this gun, how he bought one last summer and has shot at least 800 rounds through it hollow point round nose flat point you know everything and was just extremely pleased with it had no trouble uh, shoots it well and thought it was one of the best kept secrets out there he just really likes it and uses it for uh, his concealed carry uh, gun I believe he said and uh, he was asking me to you know consider you know, doing it like like a, you know get 50 or more recommendations a day on, on guns to review and and again it had sort of been on my radar anyway the burst of thunder and uh, when he started talking about the CC model I looked it up so okay I didn't know they made that a CC model a concealed carry model and everything and, uh, kind of a PPK clone that's interesting and so it really went uh, on my radar thought I would uh, take a look at it because uh, it's an interesting gun for the money, a great gun. A lot of people are buying these bursts, and they're uh, generally very pleased with them. So that, uh, again, puts it on my radar. So let's take a few more shots with it. Right. Now, again, I've not shot it much, uh, and I've noticed, I see this sort of need to get my finger through the trigger a little further than, than you really ought to in order to get a good grip on it and to shoot it well. But uh, so we'll see. Okay, it's in single action mode now. I've got it cocked. I'm going to bring it up here and let's go ahead and shoot this little two liter guy here. See what a 380 does. Have we ever shot one with a 380? I don't know. <laughs> oh, there's some 12 ounces too. Ooh, pretty hard. You know, it's basically a nine millimeter. It's just a short nine millimeter, 90 grains usually. So it's not like you're shooting a 22 short or something. Okay, and there's some good ammo available. We're going to shoot a couple of them. So let me see if I can actually hit. Now, the sights, you notice, are not really clear. You've got you got a three dot system, but they're <laughs> really small. I'm going to see if I can hit a plate, eight inch plate there. All right. Okay. 
sure where I'm going. Oh, okay. I was going low. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. I think I know where to hold now. Of course, I just have two magazines. So I have to reload there. Uh, so I was anxious to see if this gun is, uh, and I'll keep this one a while. You know, sometimes I'll get a gun and not keep it all that long. Do some videos, get a feel for it, and uh, let you know what I think about it. Uh, this one I might keep a little longer and uh, test it a little, a little longer. See how it does maybe uh, over the long haul. Let's see, provided I, I like it. I think I like it at this point. So uh, any gun that people are pretty complimentary of in general and has some value, some use like this, I uh, can't ignore. Okay. All right, 380. Let's try it again here. So I think I need to hold right on pretty much. Try a 32 liter there. Well, it's not much of a sight. Say. Oh, don't do that to me. <laughs> Try the other one. There we go. <laughs> All right. Yeah, well, let's go over to the gong, see if we can come close to it. Uh, yeah, I saw it. I saw that one. Okay, a little low. Try him again. The kicks. All right. I'll take some concentration here. Now. Got him. <laughs> All right. Yeah, just need to hold near the top and. Uh, Make sure I had a good trigger break. No doubt about it. Let's just for kicks try that pig over there on the left. I want to. <laughs> I'll throw them around. It's not that it's that inaccurate. It's just I got to get my finger on that trigger just right, and uh, the sights aren't uh, anything to write home about. They're, they'll they'll do in a pinch. Not a big problem. Uh, this is a. Up and close gun, no, no doubt about that. Uh, and it feels pretty good. One of the things I hear about the bursts is uh, the lack of malfunctions, uh, that they are reliable. Boy, that is the most important characteristic, really, of a carry gun, anything like this. And everything else beyond that is gravy. If you've got some decent sights, and it feels good. I mean, reliability is first and foremost for me with any kind of ammo. But speaking of that, let's, uh, let's go ahead and make it hot. That just did. Safety on. And I'm going to put a uh, gold dot in here. Those are gold dots. Uh, let's put a couple in. I'll hold two of those. Okay, we got her dirty now, so we'll see if those will work. And let's put in the other magazine. Let's put a couple of these uh, Hornady critical defense rounds. Okay. Because pretty important stuff, you know, a carry gun. Most people are going to carry something like this instead of ball ammo, although some swear by ball ammo. Okay, so. We will be firing the first two rounds in each of these mags. See, these were the Hornady coming up in this one. Yeah, critical defense coming up, and then the uh, yeah, gold dots in the other one. All right, so we're hot. Uh, so let's just pretend the bad guys are after us here. This is when they need to work, all right? This is when they need to work. The bad guys are coming. They are so bad. So you got a couple of critical defense rounds. And now we have a couple of. Let's drop the hammer. We'll start with it. Uh, 
double action. You got gold dots coming. Let's just shoot that ammo can. Finish him off a little bit here. <laughs> In the cinder block. All right. There you go. Gun was kind of dirty. You know, we fired it. How many times we fired it? I think I. I know I cleaned it since I fired it a few times before the video, but uh, that's important. It has to fire uh, self-defense ammunition. You know, which uh, you know, hollow points and that kind of thing. Very, very important. So, and let's do one last thing. Let's shoot it really fast if we can, just to I don't know, just deploy, give the speed test. Whatever speed I can muster up, that is. Fine. Uh, now, what I'm firing here, most of this is uh, PMC, you know, 300, uh, well, 380, of course, duh. Uh, 90 grain PMC. Pick up some of this whenever I see it. All right. Yeah, might as well load the other mag while we're at it. You know me. I can never stop with just a couple of shots. Just keep shooting all day long, right? I, I like this little gun. You know, I, it doesn't fit my hand just perfectly, you know, the trigger, but it's not not bad. Not bad. Not bad. And then, uh, but you know, it's it's got enough size to it. It's, uh, I wanted to, you probably noticed the car I had out here, the, uh, the P380. Just to point out that, you know, it, it is not in that same category really if you're thinking of a pocket gun you know it is a little bit bigger if you've uh, seen the ppk and you know guns in this size it is it's moving on up there <laughs> to something uh and i guess it's probably closer to the pm9 you know and, you know the ppk is a classic you get down these little 380 uh you don't get much smaller than this of course or the sig uh what's it the p238 i think it's called but uh, these guns are really small yeah Consequently, they're not as easy to shoot well, uh, generally, but uh, they are really small, a true pocket gun. This could be a pocket gun, but it's uh, it's a little bit bigger, okay? So, it depends on your preference. And I guess we shot those in there. And I did this before the video as well, too. I shot a couple uh, just for my own information, and uh, it functioned on fine. I've not had a malfunction. I've not had a hang-up at all with this gun, on camera or off. I'd let you know. Okay, I'm just going to try to shoot uh, kind of fast one of these mags. So we're hot. Get a hold of that trigger the right way. Okay. She really feels smooth. Like she uh, doesn't try to hang up at all. You know, she sucks those rounds up. what not a bad little gun uh, so I see what the, the viewer from Wisconsin is talking about this is a is a sweet little gun that uh, is really worthy of your consideration I'm not going to blast any other companies or any other firearms uh, there are a lot of inexpensive firearms around and uh, you listen to the radio show you know my take on that is don't buy the case of beer don't eat out couple of times you know save another 50 bucks another 100 bucks and and go ahead and get you a little bit better gun if you can you know get you a used gun uh, that's from a quality manufacturer so you know and I've uh, elaborated on that in other places uh, don't go too cheap don't go too cheap uh, this gun is not very expensive and it seems like a good choice you know chime in you know in comments which I know you will if you have one and you've had trouble with it, uh, you know, we'd all like to know. But most of what I see is uh, very complimentary and that they, they tend to work. So, been my experience so far. The uh, Bursa Thunder CC uh, seems like a viable choice to me right now. So, uh, you know what I'm going to say, don't you? Because it's true. Life is good.